you know, just like a piece of music, the DCI winter meetings have a, a, a tempo, have a rhythm to them. And when Friday comes around, there's an accelerando that happens as more and more people are added to the mix and the pace picks up quite a bit. Dozens upon dozens of instructors and designers are now in Indianapolis and this is the instructors caucus going on right now. The instructors and designers are meeting to talk about the nine rules proposals in a large group. In just a moment, they'll break off into their individual captions and dissect them a little bit more, then they'll come back together and the instructors will vote on those rules proposals. Kevin Shaw is with the Blue Knights and has two, if I count right, two rules proposals. You got three? Dude, look at you. There are three <laughs> rules proposals. Just tell us quickly what they are. Uh, the first one is uh, a proposal to have what we have right now, the Rules Congress, happen every year. Uh, currently happens every two years, so uh, that's the first one. Uh, the second one is to take a look at the way that we deal with uh, percussion adjudication and music analysis. And really it's taking our current uh, field percussion and ensemble percussion, which is in the box, but maybe taking the ensemble percussion, turning into that a second music analysis position, kind of like the way we deal with GE. Okay. And then the third proposal is a little bit in tandem with that one, which is just to take a look at the music analysis sheet and do a little bit of a refresh to kind of update the terminology with, you know, a little bit more focus on how all the elements play together, including electronics. We'll let fans debate all of those rules proposals along with the instructors and the directors and see how the vote turns out on Saturday. But I'm curious, Kevin, this is not the first year you've submitted rules proposals to be changed, uh, rule, rules change proposals. But why do this? Why go out on a limb? Why risk rejection? Why, why do you uh, make a rules proposal? Uh, you know, we, in this activity, everyone's super opinionated and has a really uh, deep passion for providing the best experience for their cores and the, for their students, for the audience. And really, um, for me, I've found that, well, instead of holding all these opinions, you know, to yourself all the time or just within your drum corps, really the only way that we can communicate our wishes to the community is through the proposals process. And whether or not something passes or not is you know, maybe not the main goal, but the main goal is really spur discussion to kind of really get at the root of what it is important to us as a community. And if if a proposal, you know, is presented, and even if it doesn't pass, at least we'll uncover some things about us, uh, who we are as an activity, as a as a community. You know, so um, to Have me, you had your mind changed by an argument you've heard in the instructors' caucus about one of your own rules proposals. If you backed down and said. Yeah, okay, maybe that wasn't such a good idea. Uh, I think more importantly, like for example, with sheets, you know, proposing sheets, there's verbiage and terminology and that um, I, I don't want those to be my sheets, you know, I want these to be group sheets. So there, there's a lot of times there's things on there that someone will say, you know what, I don't know if that's the best way to say that. What if we said it like this? Oh yeah, that's a great idea. So I love the fact that it actually is promoting collaboration between the staffs of drum corps where we spend all summer being competitors. The results of the instructors caucus vote will be passed on to the voting membership. That's the world class directors. They'll take a final vote on the rules proposals that are still standing at 5.30 p.m. Eastern Time, Saturday. We'll have full coverage, of course, on all of our platforms and at DCI.org.